Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about uh, this uh, Parrot boot loop issue in VirtualBox. So when I installed the new security edition or home edition of this Parrot OS in VirtualBox, the issue I faced was uh, the boot loop problem. So even after removing this uh, uh, bootable medium, that is .iso file, still the issue was occurring. So let's see how we can solve that. I'll do a fresh installation of uh, Parrot OS virtual box and you can, we can see how we can solve the problem I'll just select a new one make a parrot os i'll make linux debian 64 i'll just give it a 2.5 m um, create a virtual hard disk now dynamically allocated these are all straightforward, so I'm just uh, moving forward with fast. We'll just see. And here you can see that we have this uh, machine. I'll just uh, load the storage medium here. Settings, storage, here in empty. Parrot security OS. So our storage medium is ready. We can just boot up the machine. Here I see that the uh, screen is small, I'll just scale it up. After installation it will automatically scale up and fit your windows so you don't have to worry about that. This is just a uh, initial phase of installation. So it is loading up. So now the window is loaded and you can see that install parrot over here. I'll just uh, resize the window and you can see that it fits up. And one of the issues I'm facing is you can see that this install parrot option is not appearing. So in this case, what we can do is uh, even after resizing, it's not coming up. So what I'll do is I'll do a reboot. I'll just close it up. Do a reboot. So this will resolve that uh, issue of that scaling. So uh, so I'll just pause on it uh, till this video loads up. Huh? So once I restart the machine and you can see that uh, the options appear. So I'll just go with install Parrot. So there are uh, certain prerequisites for Parrot installation that your PC should be on. So since we are even working on VirtualBox, you, sh you should uh, plug in your charger for this. Give next and give my location anywhere. English US default and here you have certain options so you can just erase this or do a manual partitioning I'm just going with that default installation and here I'll just enter a name and give a password And next and you can do the install you can see that uh, 
we will not be able to undo these changes. Give it an S and the installation starts. Okay, guys, now you can see that uh, the installation is completed and there's a restart now option. So, what I'll do is uh, I'll just uh, check my machine once to make sure that if you can remove the media. So, here if you go to storage, you'll see that the media is already loaded and the option is disabled for this removal. So, we can't do anything in here. So, what I'll do is I'll just do a restart. So it is restarting now. And you can see the same issue. It is showing that try install. Even though after installation, it is showing that uh, the option is try install. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, switch off this machine. And then I'll just uh, try to remove the media first. Most of the web resources say this uh, solution for this. So I'll show you guys even this one is not solving the problem. So I'm just removing this media and I'm going to start it again. Let's see if it works. So you can see that uh, the problem is still there. It is uh, still bo the boot is looping again and again. It's saying try install, try install. Even though after removing the boot medium from this uh, virtual machine, still it's showing that try install. If you go inside, also it will show that uh, installation feature only. So how many times you do this is the same. So what is the solution for this? Is you have already done the installation once. So we have to find the files relevant for that and we can use those files to boot it up again so i'll just power off this machine and i'll just go and find those uh, files where it is installed my folder is you can find this uh, path over here in your uh, preferences you can find you can see that uh, default machine folder minus d drive so i'm just navigating to the d drive admin virtual box vms and parrot so here you can see that there are uh, four files what i need for uh, this installation is i have to copy these four files from here uh, the most important two files are this file this uh, virtual box machine file and vdi disk image so these two are very important and you can copy the others as well it doesn't matter those are just logs so i'll just copy those four files and place it in a different folder. So I have this operating systems folder and parrot. So I'll just delete this one which is already here and then paste it over here. So now the files are copied over here. So I have to delete this machine first. And then I'll uh, load this machine again. Okay. I'll just delete uh, its all its files and everything. And then I have to create a new machine. Again, you know, the name you want. And it's a Debian based machine. So it's a Linux Debian 64. So next, and you can just uh, allocate uh, the same amount of uh, minimum is 2 GB. But uh, I'm going to give it 2.5. So here in this options, you have an option of use an existing virtual hard disk file. I'm going to select that one. And here it's not showing up. So what I'll do is I'll add this file. So I have to navigate to this folder where I store this uh, file. It's in D drive, operating systems, parrot. And in here, I have the VDI file, which will hard disk image, and I'm going to open it. Choose it, create. So now it's created. Let's try to boot up this machine. So 
So here you can see it's booting up. And this uh, scaling issues that are for my display display, just uh, solve it by changing some scaling settings. And you can see that Parrot is booting now as uh, we expected instead of this boot loop. So using this, uh, you can use this uh, VDI image to load your Parrot OS in VirtualBox. You can also get this VDI image online, but it's uh, I don't think it's a trustable source to get a VDI image. That OS can contain anything. So in this way, you can create your own VDI image and then uh, you can use it for your VirtualBox. So I, I guess uh, this solves the problem you are facing. So just uh, I'll show you uh, the login. So here you can see that the login login uh, display came in and you can just uh, login to Parrot. So now you can see that uh, this install install OS is gone. So now we have a fresh installation of Parrot OS in VirtualBox. So that's it from my side. Thank you guys for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.